This is Saucy. It's an oscilloscope that focuses on oscilloscope music. So it's a bit different from the ones in my list. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with my work at all, I have a database of every oscilloscope that I can find. There's actually one or two in here that I, I need to add um, that are, are not currently in here, but they're all oscilloscopes. And normally I'm pretty focused on some of the more technical things, like how they trigger, things like that. But there are two scopes in this list that are standouts for oscilloscope music. Oscilloscope music is kind of tricky because for it to work, you need a scope to really pay attention to it to behave like an analog scope would. And so Pretty Scope is one, and there is now Saucy. Uh, this is a pretty recent development from what I understand. I think it came out three weeks ago at the time of making this. And uh, this, this is it. So in here, you've got a couple unique features compared to most scopes on in the database. And there'll be a link to that down below. Uh, one is you can actually record the output as a video directly, uh, which is pretty nice. It is really close to clean full screen. They are just missing the ability to actually blow it up to full screen. Or if it is just going to be this to get rid of this like bottom bar, it's it's so close. Uh, there is an ability um, to send the video via siphon or spout receiver, and that can give you a clean full screen output. But it's not like natively just something you can do right in the plugin. And then there's a bunch of parameters for how it looks. Now there are presets. If you go up to file examples, there are some presets in here on how they look. So this one is the default. Yeah, let's go over. There's one that's supposed to look as close to a real oscilloscope as possible. And it is an adaptation of a web implementation of an oscilloscope. I would like to show you what it's based on. He has a link to it right here. Neil Thapin has created this scope, the XXY oscilloscope. Oh, we just click to get started and it runs in the browser. Uh, pretty cool. And you've got a lot of the features you'd kind of want. It, it's missing a lot of the fancy things that um, Saucy can do. But if we bring in a signal generator, you can see it begin to, to spin. You can give it a file, give it a mic input, and it just works right in the browser. So this is a really, really cool option in the in, is the inspiration. Um, and possibly some of the implementation on where this thing came from. It does look like it was coded in Juice. It's just uh, all these menus and things got super big Juice 5. Not 100% sure I didn't go digging for what framework was used. Nothing wrong with Juice. Just always interesting to see what people are using to make their stuff. And yeah, so it's 20 bucks here. And you'll also get the Aussie renderer. And this is that oscilloscope. It, it makes... Uh, cool shapes and things for you to use in there. And there's a bunch of, of demos of sort of the powerful stuff it can do. So very, very cool. The website itself is, is very informative. It's available, available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. So that's the developer's site. Uh, definitely check them out. You just, you just click on that and that'll, that'll take you there. Uh, anything else? The actual oscilloscope function, if you want it for scope purposes, um, besides oscilloscope, like XY music, it is possible um, if we go to sweep, but I'd say it's underwhelming. The trigger values are very limited. You can externally trigger it. So if you know the frequency of your input, you could bring in a signal and have it get triggered off that, which is pretty nice as far as the sweep is concerned, but it's not got, um, any of the other fancier trigger options. So very much meant for oscilloscope music, kind of made with that in mind. You could change the line hue, and these are modulatable. So for example, we could take in like a sine wave and it will change on its own. You could change the line saturation, really just wow. Line intensity, bring it down. Screen hue, screen saturation, ambient lighting these kinds of things. And this is just one of the views. If we come up, this is the real oscilloscope. There's also the vector display, 
full on rave show now. <laughs> Smudged. I'm not sure how to say this word. And then empty. We go ahead and bring down the hue and the ambient light. So we've got some lighting effects here. You can make it persist for longer. If you have it at zero, you can get some interesting effects as well. You can change the focus, the amount of glow. So it's definitely made to look really pretty. Uh, extremely cool. You can add noise, smoothing, stereo, interpret the two channels a bit differently. X scale, Y scale, X offset, Y offset, uh, those sorts of things. A little bit of a hiccup I've discovered with this after messing with it for a while. Uh, say you want to save it. You could save it as a project, but when you open it, it doesn't remember where the presets are. Uh, so it'd be nice to have a, a preset thing. I made my own inside of, uh, if we go over here to presets, saucy, I open it up. And this was a particular set of settings that I really liked. Uh, so it'd be nice if there was a better way to get to your own presets and, and use them easily. Maybe I could look for wherever this is and just stick it in there. So that's just a little thing. I wish presets were a bit easier to use. This is the standalone version. The only real difference being there is now this meter on the side and this uh, down here along the bottom. While we're here, I want to mention the free project. I mentioned it a little bit before. It's called Aussie Renderer. And this thing allows you to import all kinds of files to generate interesting shapes to show on an oscilloscope. And making music with it would be up to you how you kind of want to go about that. Uh, it could be a little challenging if you're going to use um, complex shapes and things. There are a whole load of file types. Just look at this. You can do PNGs, GIFs, JPEGs, all kinds of stuff. So for example, say I gave it my logo. So this is my logo as a PNG. And when you choose something like a PNG, the frame settings down here will become active and you can change the image threshold and you can suddenly see the CG begin to appear and the image stride and you can get some interesting effects. He has a video where he talks about what exactly it's doing to be able to draw the shape. And if you invert it, sometimes you can get these really cool secondary effects. Like that might be more of what I'm going for. Then you could turn on some of the effects like this is bit crushing. You could bring in a bulge. You could combine the effects and just create some really, really cool stuff. I have here some text as an SVG. And if we go ahead and open that, we can see it looks all screwed up. That's just because the frequency is so high. We bring it down and we find the right spot and you can get a really nice output. And again, we can do all the same things with the effects to get these sort of really neat transitions. How it sounds, um, well, let me show you. I'm gonna have it a little low because it's kind of annoying. Take a look over here. Yeah, so this is really cool. I definitely wanted to mention it. It can be very time consuming to mess with because it's just addictive, especially if you have files already and it's just fun to load them in and start experimenting. And you could link this up to begin moving around and you are making oscilloscope music before you could stop yourself. So that is Saucy. If you have any questions, drop them down below. If you have another scope I should check out, let me know. And of course, check out the Oscilloscope database. I am always adding to it. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.